All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS whom rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers. Peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful leg out there pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners whom have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you by Shema was shot. And uh what I want to get into this morning, you know, is the seeing, you know, it's a beautiful thing what you how by Shema was shot is doing in the earth, you know, how he's restoring us, you know, to health. Alright, because when you read in the scriptures, you read Ezekiel 37 chapter, you know, we was known as the valley of dry bones, you know, because the nation of Israel. All right, the tribe, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans. You know, you have the Israelite foreigners who look like other nations. All right, but the Israelites according to the lineage of their father, you know. But we were referred to as the Valley of Dry Bones of us being spiritually dead, spiritually, you know, dehydrated, you know. Because even when you go through carnal dehydration, you know, you can get so dehydrated that you know, you had to be hooked up to IVs to get fluids in you and these particular things. Well, that's what Yahweh by Shema Shai has done, you know, for the remnant, all right, of Israel in these times. There's a remnant that was elected, all right, that was selected before the foundation of the earth to be restored, all right, at a particular time. You know, each member of the elect in their own time, all right? In the latter end, before Yahweh Shai will return, to conquer the earth in righteousness, all right, and deliver that remnant, you see? So what we're seeing now is Yahweh Bashim al is restoring his people through the word. The, 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 the elect are being gathered through the word of Yahweh Shai. And when you read Jeremiah 30 and 17, it says, For I will restore health unto thee, I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord Yahweh Bashim al because they called thee an outcast, saying this, all right, is Zion whom no man seeketh after? Yeah, man, because you gotta understand that the, the before we came into this ministry, man, you know we suffer a real mental illness, man. You know, most of us love the oppressor. All right, most of us had an off doctrine, an off way of thinking. Whether it was street culture, you know, hot girl culture, hot boy culture, you know, coon culture. You see. Uh, 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 you know, <laughs> we had all these off ways of thinking and understanding, and pretty much we was, we we had a mental illness, man. All right, when you examine Jake today, when you just look at Jake and how they move and how they think, our people have a true mental illness, man. Their spirit is off. All right, and unless your Howard Shaw, the physician, begins the healing process, there's nothing that can be done. And see, this this society, there was nothing put in place. To restore us back to health all right there was nothing in this society that was truly about restoring us back to the health as who we are and who our power is man attaching us back to that legacy man nothing on earth was set up to do that all right the the, the heathens all right they 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 they, they forward themselves off the ignorance of the tribes you see but there came a point in time when Yahweh by Shema al all right, he sent down that mercy, which is the spirit, all right? <laughs> the, the Holy Spirit, so like you, he sent down the Holy Spirit of understanding, the truth, of comfort. You see? And now the scriptures say we stand on, their, on our feet, that great, exceeding army. You know? <laughs> I finally get it. And this is a beautiful thing that Yahweh Bashima al Shai, you know, is doing in the earth. All right, this is Revelation 11 and 11. And it says, And after three days and a half, the spirit of life, you see, the spirit of life, man, that what has entered into this remnant. It's a spirit of life. Alright? Now now we're understanding 
the will and intent of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai because Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is all about life prospering, man. All right, not prospering in wickedness, man. Because in this society, people have material things, but their spirits are finished. All right, they finished. You know, you look at our people that that, that, that that have joined themselves to, you know, this entertainment and sports world. All right. And you look at the way they think, all right, the way, you know, they're just shriveling up, you know, look like death, man, all right, because they, they don't have the true spirit of life, because we're come, we're finna enter to immortality, man, through this understanding, through this faith, <laughs> through obedience, we're finna enter into immortality, man, all right, and our people, their prosperity ceiling stops you know, with a uh, 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 with a dollar sign, man. You know, but we know that life is is much more than that, man. <laughs> All right, we're being restored. That spirit of life is here, man. We're speaking life, man. All right, because while we're speaking, this man Esau Edom is constantly creating new ways to die. All right. That's all this man's about is enhancing death in the earth, man. Incorporating death within everything. That's what this man is about. You know? But now that spirit of life is entered into the Lord's people. Now, all right, we're starting that transition of kingdoms, man. All right? So we're being restored to health for rulership. <laughs> you see? And it says, And they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell on them which saw them. And see, Esau Edom know it's over, man. His his worst fear, Esau Edom's worst fear. Don't get it twisted. Like this man just got it all figured out. You know, he's not worried about nothing. You know, he's talking about he's gonna do this and by 2030 and all these different things he's talking about. Don't get it twisted, man. Alright? This man fears us being attached to our power, man, because he knows there's a power source out there he can't deal with, man. All right, there's technology that, 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 that he knows he's way behind on, man. You see? So this is the time we're coming into, man. I'll tell you, it's a beautiful thing that's happening in the earth, and we should fight to stay a part of the process, man. You know? We should fight to stay a part of this process on what Yahweh Bashim al is doing with the remnant of his people, man. You know, Lord will, we all endure. All right? So that was the point. I just want to bring that out. Real quick this morning, Lord will you brothers and you few sisters are edified. Until the next time, I say shalom. Call me out shalom. Bob or Bob DTA soon.